Hello everyone, today I'd like to do a book review. I've just finished The Islands of Chaldea by Diana Wynne-Jones, completed by Ursula Jones, her sister. This is a book aimed at 8 to 12 year olds and is fantasy. It follows the exploits of Eileen, a young girl on the island of Scar who discovers that she's more than she seems. She is sent out on a quest with her Aunt Beck, the wise woman of the island to free the lost prince of their island and remove the barrier that's been set up between the four islands of Chaldea. On her journey she encounters many strange people and events and of course magical items and people. Diana Wynne Jones was a master of the magical. She could create worlds that you really believed in and wove magic through them that didn't seem jarring. Because this book is so short, or maybe because of her storytelling, this book does not have the lull of pacing that some quest books can have where everything seems to grind to a halt for a chapter. You don't have opportunities for the pace to drop here. You keep going and follow these characters on their journey. Diana Wynne Jones was a master at creating worlds that the reader could believe in and envelop them around him. It's a shame that she is gone but we are thankful that Ursula has managed to pick up the pen and so effectively finish the story Diana Wynne Jones did not leave plans or plots or storylines, so Ursula had to look through and find the hidden clues that were always left in stories for her to work out where this story was heading. I couldn't tell where one pen had dropped and the other had picked up, so seamlessly was the writing. And I think that's a credit to Ursula and how well she knew her sister. Some other books written by Diana Wynne Jones also include magic. She was very good at creating fantasy worlds for young readers and young adults. She created the Crestomancy series, a collection of books that look into the world of magic. The series started with Charmed Life, but unfortunately I seem to have mislaid my copy of it, which is really annoying. I'm hoping it's in the loft. Then there's The Many Lives of Christopher Chant, set before Charmed Life and looking at Christopher and his journey as a young man. Which week? Witchcraft is forbidden in this one, and yet someone is a witch. And then there's the Stealer of Souls. This is a World Book Day book, so I don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on this anymore. Diana also wrote sci-fi for young readers. This is The Home of Bounders. I read this when I was an older teenager and really enjoyed it. I wish so much that there was a series of these because I loved the characters and the whole concept of this story. It really ended on a cliffhanger as well but I think that was more deliberate than anything else. Diana has also written books for adults. There's The Merlin Conspiracy. I read this in a week on the beach. It's still full of sand. This is a really good book looking at magic. And then there's Enchanted Glass. This was another beach book that I read really quick. This is set in our world, but also the magical world and how the two can tangle together. So there you are. If you like fantasy, but not too highbrow or epic fantasy, may I suggest Diana Wynne Jones books to you. She's written quite a range for all ages, and I'm sure there's something there that you will enjoy. Happy reading, everyone. Bye.